every day, takes the RS. The day he comes back in, it was kind of like someone, you know, met the love of their life. He's just like, you know, guys, guys, you wouldn't imagine what just happened. Oh, and he was just waxing. That's it? We're doing it? Here we are. First YouTube video? <laughs> yeah, man. Oh okay. God. Well. Are we, are we YouTubers now? We are YouTubers oh, now. Holy. This is pretty weird. It's um, funny how you just get some ring lights from Amazon, set your 12 Pro <laughs> Max up, and you're, you're now a YouTuber. There we go. That's all it takes, I guess, these days. I know. And we're, we're not even Gen Z. We are, we're old YouTubers. We're kind of old millennials. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this makes me feel odd. <laughs> Shave the beard a little bit. Whatever. Where should we start? Well, um... Well, let's kind of get into it. I, I, I started on the veteran Sherman. Okay. And I kind of want to talk about my, uh, how much I've loved the veteran Sherman. Okay. Um, but I feel lucky because now that we have this, the store and we have like 14 different wheels and the, to try out, I have been spoiling myself and riding home on a different wheel every day. Okay. And, uh, I've seen I, that. Yeah. I went from <laughs> loving the Sherman and I got on the RS and like, it doesn't even have power pads on it. And it's just like, holy, <laughs> it yeah. was so powerful. But before we get into that, I, I gotta kind of want to talk about what I love about the Sherman and, and why it's been one of my favorite, my favorite wheels. Okay. Um, and just just for context, yeah. what other what other wheels are we going to talk about today too? The EXN, okay. The RS and the Veteran Sherman. Okay. Kind of compare the three yeah. um, in my experience with them. Okay. And um, what I love about them and what I think makes the Sherman really good that not enough people really talk about. Okay. Um, and I want to get over, get on that because I think if you did the same, it was a very simple, easy switch to make the RS and the EXN kind of handle similarly to a Sherman. Okay. My thought. My on. hot take. Yes. Okay. Yes. Let's okay. do it. All right. Maybe let's start. Tell me. Tell me what your love affair with the Sherman. How did? How did you find? How did you find it? Where did it start? Yeah. How that? How that happen? So I actually started with the V8, and that's what I learned on. And I thrashed okay. that thing. I outgrew it in two days. Yeah. <laughs> the community here in Vancouver um, are all raving about the Kingsong 18XL. Yeah. So that was my next wheel. I bought one. Uh, I actually traded a one wheel for a 18XL on someone Ooh. on Facebook Marketplace, and. Um, I loved it, and, but I outgrew it fast too. I heard the Sherman came out and I was like, you know what? I want the best, I want the most powerful, I want yep. the long range. So I pre-ordered a Sherman. Yep. Waited, 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 it didn't come. So I pre-ordered a second Sherman from a different supplier. Yeah, I remember waited, this, waited, waited. I remember this, yeah. <laughs> and then the one I ordered second actually came first. Yeah. So um, I got that one and I think within like a week of getting the Sherman, I rode all the way to Whistler with uh, It was that quick? Yeah, with my oh, friend uh, Doug and Francis, yeah. the three of us took a trip up there. Shout out Doug um, and Francis. Roll some B-roll footage of that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was an awesome, awesome ride. And I think that's what started my love affair for the Sherman. Yeah. The pure power, it's like you have a rocket between your legs <laughs> and <Ooh>. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. That trip alone really like warm me up to the Sherman. Like, yep. I, I can't remember, it's 160 kilometers, I think, to Whistler. On the, yeah, and some change, yeah, On probably. Sea to Sky Highway. Yeah. If you guys don't know the Sea to Sky Highway, it's like one of the most beautiful drives you can do in the world. B-roll footage. B-roll footage. <laughs> <laughs> but there's like, often like the shoulder will go super, super narrow, so it's kind of sketchy. Yep. And there's about a kilometer where you, there's pretty much no shoulder and you're like with cars. And when we got to that point, I was like, please cars, go away. And sure enough, there's cars passing us. Yeah, but always around corners too. I did that on a yeah. pedal bike. And I remember just, just like, oh, come on, please. Nobody rip 100K around this corner right now. Just Definitely for my own peace of mind. Sketchy. Imagine on an electric unicycle, dude. Yeah, but it's fun. And then you get big trucks flying by and the wind just like whoo, kind of yeah. blows you a little bit. Yeah, a little yeah. sketchy, but the ride was worth it. It was such a beautiful trip. We went up to Whistler, rode a bunch of trails. And that's when I kind of learned like the veteran Sherman is actually an amazing EUC on trails, even though it's heavier. Yep. Um, I think a big part of it is the knobby tire, but I really, really enjoyed riding some single track mountain bike trails with uh, Doug and Francis. Sick. So that was a lot of fun. So that was kind um, of the, that was, that's one weekend, right? That, so the love, yeah. the love is starting to build. You're just like, who the hell is going to make a better wheel than this? Yeah. And you know, probably curious about the other things that so don't have the money or time to buy. I know. I mean, at, at the time I uh, rode a buddy's MSX and another buddy's MSP okay. and I tried them just in like a parking lot type deal. So I didn't really get the full experience yeah. and I didn't really understand why people loved Gotway so much, but after getting on our company demo RS, yep. high torque version, yep. I was blown away. I, 
So what Gotway does better than anyone else, I feel like it's like the firmware tuning. The way it accelerates you and, and breaks, it breaks so well without power pads. Normally, like on the Sherman, without power pads, I'd be, I wouldn't even want to ride it. Yeah. You need something to break you. But the Gotway is so uh, tuned where it kind of like digs your heels in slightly. And so you have more to lean back on and it just, it breaks so beautifully. And I can't imagine once I add power pads to it, how much even better it'll be. Right. But yeah. I haven't added power pads onto that thing yet. And Already. it's been giving me a, oh man, a rush of, like it's so much fun. This is the RS, yeah? This is the RS yeah. high torque version. High torque, yeah. And I've never experienced something that can just go like zero to what, <laughs> 50 and 60 and instantaneously. It's just Real so quick. effortless to accelerate. So yeah. that's a, like, I blew my mind and I'm like, okay, I get why people love Gotway now. I, yeah. I should have tried them a bit sooner. I remember the day he came back, he was like, you know, I'm going to try the RS. Why not? You know, he'd been taking the Sherman back and forth every day. Take the RS. The day he comes back in, it was kind of like someone, you know, met the love of their life. It's just like, you know, guys, guys, you wouldn't imagine <laughs> what just happened. Oh, and he was just waxing poetic about it. it was, I get a little excitable sometimes. Yeah, yeah, well, you know, you know, yeah it, was, it was an interesting experience for sure to come in and see him because he's just been so in love with, hence the title of this, you know, the love triangle, but like, he's been so in love with the Sherman for so long and uh, to see him come back and just be even more excited about something so quickly, especially something that, you know, you'd said before, like, I don't really get it with Godway, I don't know, and then it just yeah. switch on a dime, one yeah. long ride. I, just, and, I didn't try it enough. And I think the hollow bore motor as well adds so much smoothness and I guess it increases torque too. It just, Oh, felt so good. <laughs> so good. I'm getting shivers of talking about it. Yeah. But then it goes to the EXN, which uh, I actually tried out before the RS, but the problem was from the factory, the tire became unbalanced. Yeah. So I took it for a ride. I was getting major wobbles. It was drifting to one side and I was like, Ooh, not a fan of the EXN. And the, but I knew it was the tires and I just had to get someone to, um, our tech to fix it. Yep. So shout he, out Steven. Shout out to Steven. He fixed it and I took it for a, a spin was it yesterday or the day before? Mm -hmm. And I forgot, I locked you out. So I got all the way home, I rode all the way home and I locked you out, you needed the keys to lock up the store. Yep. And um, I get your call, and I'm like, you know what, and you're like, I, I need, you need to come back to the store, I don't have my keys. I'm like, oh crap. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. I ripped all the way back and it was like the best rip ever because I just experienced like the EXN for the first time. And yeah. I was like, oh hell yeah, I'll ride the six yeah. kilometers back here, six kilometers back yeah. home. And yeah, you're like, want to forget ripped. the keys twice, whatever, <laughs> yeah. I don't care. So I feel like I was just as excited, or if not more, after riding the EXN. Yeah. It's, it's, EXN is essentially like a speed version of the RS. Um, so it'd be like the RS Torque, but like a bigger battery, bigger motor. Gotcha, um, okay, yeah. And that thing went zero to 62 or whatever instantaneously okay um big fan big fan the only thing i worry about is like many the hollow bore motors and riding in the rain yeah um, i know we did get the new ones in that are supposed to fix the bearings so they're not completely covered so the like, bearings can dry out after getting riding in wet weather right, and whatnot okay. yeah so i'm curious to see how they do yep. um and then the only downside i would say to the, the gotway is um the, the shell which everyone knows to be fragile so um, right. we'll be printing 3d printed bumpers which most rs and EXN owners will probably do, or any Gotway yeah. 100 volt <laughs> wheels will probably do. Good idea, good play. But the three wheels are all giving me this like different feeling. Um, they're all kind of different. The, the RS is the most pronounced, like when I break, it really digs my heels in, not as much as I got with the EXN. Um, but yeah, I, I have blown away. So, and then I, I'm like thinking, oh, do I like the RS now more than the Sherman? I, I was like, yeah, definitely. RS is like way more than the Sherman. It takes the cake, yeah. And, and then, but then you go back. I, for then I rode the Sherman, Sherman again. again. It was those pissing rain, so I wasn't yeah. going to take the Sherman home, or I wasn't going to take the RS home because yeah. I've been riding the RS every day. So I take decided to take the Sherman home, and it was pissing rain. And I've kind of waterproof the LCD screen a little bit and mm -hmm. I silicone the inside. So my Sherman is fairly water resistant, I yep. would say. Yep. And I've been riding that thing in some heavy rain, and I've been totally fine. Seven out of ten water resistance. Yeah, yeah, I would say I would even I, would comp I have confidence. I don't ever feel like I'm going to cut out when I when I ride the Sherman in the rain. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I was riding heavy rain, and I just remember I'm like leaning into the corners at such high speeds. That's yeah. something that the Sherman does better than any other wheel. I don't think it's the Sherman's tuning. I don't think it's the firmware. I don't think it's how they programmed it. I think it's the knobby tire, because okay. I rode the Sherman. 
um, with the street tire, and I didn't care for it as much. I like. What's the tire width? Do you know off the top of your head, right out the gate, what the, what the tire width difference is? Is it just the knobbiness, or do you think it's maybe the width? Yeah, the knobs make it a little bit wider. Yeah, I can't okay. remember the exact width, but they, they advertise it's a three inch tire, but I think it's like wider because of the, the, because knobs. the knobs. But the yeah. way they're angled, you can kind of lean into it, and then you don't feel like you're gonna fall over. You can gotcha. really yeah. ride the knobs, if you will. Ride the knobs, and super fast, so you can like really dig it, like lean into the turns, and that's my favorite part about the Sherman. Yeah. But I wanna know, is I want to put that same tire on, or a similar tire, on the RS and the EXN to yep. see if I get that same experience. Because if I do, then I think the RS and the EXN would win me over as the best wheel to ride. When it just comes to pure rideability, yep. pure like torque, excitement. Yep. Obviously, the, the um, range of the Sherman and the range of the EXN excite me more. Sure, um, yeah, yeah. The range on the RS torque and the high speed version aren't, isn't the best. But if I'm not going long speed distances and I'm just riding six kilometers, home from the shop and six kilometers back, I, I much prefer the... And, sorry to digress, but do, do the, the EXN and the RS both have hollow core motors? Yeah, yeah. So that's one big thing to mention too, right, is, is if you're in a place like Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, or another really rainy place, even if you maybe are slightly more partial to some of the performance metrics of the EXN and the RS for a daily rider, the Sherman probably makes yeah. a lot more sense, especially if you do the things that you've done, the proactive measures to add a little bit of waterproof, covering the LCD screen, a little yeah. bit of silicone here and there. The Sherman's the only wheel we have that I truly feel comfortable riding yeah. in the rain. And I did my measures to make sure it was uh, water sealed, yeah. but... It's like, the, it's like the, the more dependable all-arounder that still hits some great performance metrics versus the more kind of yeah. just on the other side of the scale, you know, no, no, uh, what's the word, like... Uh, I just can't think of the word. Yeah, no compromises. No compromises. And it's just yeah. part of it is like the roll cage on the Sherman makes me feel so comfortable. Yeah. If I do drop it, it's not going to shatter. And, right, and right. And it's yeah. an expensive fix to fix the shells on the, on the Gotway 100 volt wheels. What but, about handling on the three of them? Let's give, yeah. me, give me a rundown on what, what you kind of felt getting really kind of pitted into each of the different wheels. Yeah, so the, I think it's because it's not a knobby tire on the RS and the EXN, I don't feel as comfortable going at high speeds cornering. So right. I think the Sherman gets the win for that. Okay. But I think it's the tire and I, I really, I'm getting a Japanese tire actually for my S18. Oh, is that um, the one where you're going to do the, you're going to use the tire? It doesn't even need to be shaved, oh, actually. That's so the, I found yeah, one. Right. Actually, I didn't find one. Shout out to Chan Chancellor Hins, who's a badass rider. We just brought him on as an EVs athlete. Hey, um, our first, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, second. We oh. brought in his friend Austin right. Silva, who Sorry, came Austin. from. <laughs> they're actually buddies. They ride together okay. all the time. So shout, they, shout out Austin. <laughs> shout out Austin. Shout out Chance. Yeah. Um, they're both badass riders. Austin came, he's actually competing right now in a one-wheel race, um, the Dirt Surfers race. Okay. He's probably the favorite to win. And the guy is just All right. insanely good trail rider okay. at both the one wheel and the S18. You gotta love the all around. Um, yeah. So, I, anyways, he I saw a post of him posting about the this Nobby chat tire from Amazon Japan. Yep. And I ordered three. Um, okay. One for my, my RS18, the demo, my personal one, but yep. also I want to. So customers are going to see that tire and they're going to want it for their wheel. So yeah. I want to buy a couple extra. And That's then, what, 2.75 if I remember watching the video or something? Like 2. Yeah, 6, 14 2. by 2.75, I believe. Okay, yeah, um, yeah. So, I'm, and it fits without any modification. So I'm excited. Nice. Link, I'll put the link Just in there. Just barely. You see the video, you watch the video. It's like, ooh, it's yeah, close. It's, it's, tight. it's so close. But numerous people have put it on without any modification, which cool, is cool. cool. Um, I'll put the link in the bio if people yeah. want it. And we're going to try to bring, I'm going to contact the manufacturer and see if we can actually bring them in yeah. as a dealer. Sick. Because um, they're kind of expensive when you, they're over a hundred bucks. After Single you. order, yeah. 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 But I don't, I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. But anyways, I think the tire makes a big difference. And I think more UC should get knobby tires because it, it adds a whole level of stability, especially when you're cornering at high speeds. Yeah. And the sound is kind of nice. It lets people know you're coming. Yeah. I think people often think you're going way faster than you are because it's like. Zzz. Yeah. Oh, okay. That was yeah. a little higher. <laughs> it's just Pick such a. tone a bit. It's fun. So. Sick. Yeah. Quite so like handling. It. Handling. I, Sherman I, takes I think the, the Sherman takes it. Because of the tire, potentially. When it comes to cornering, and I think it's because of the tire, but mm -hmm. when it comes to accelerating and braking, yeah. the RS takes it because it's a lighter, lighter weight than the yeah. EXN. And you say the, the, the dynamics of the software, how it's kind of, yeah, kind of help, it just, helping it, you back a little bit. I can't describe it. It just like subtly lifts your toes uh -huh. when you're braking, so you can kind of dig your heels in. And it just, yeah. It's so intuitive and natural feeling when you brake. I visualize, I visualize like the, you know, maybe the, the, like the fin on 
a really high end sports car like a McLaren when they're braking and the oh, you know, like yeah. as they brake the the rear the rear um, diffuser will kind of like go up and down mm -hmm. as the speed changes. That's really second you said that the first time I thought about like a McLaren. I can see that. Kind of yeah. like doo -doo 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 -doo. it's just so natural and it gives you that this like feeling of safety. And I don't. That's the only wheel I feel comfortable braking without power pads. Yeah. And every other okay. wheel, I feel like I need power pads, with the exception of the S18. It's not the best breaker, the S18, yeah. but you can at least dig your legs into there. There's somewhat self built in power pads. Right, right, okay. Shout out to Kuji for um, helping <laughs> them design that. So many that. shout outs today. I love it. <laughs> a lot of people to shout out, though. Kuji, come see us, man. Yeah. Come on, buddy. We're, as soon as COVID's over and they open the borders up, we will fly Kuji down, check out our shop, do some clinics with the, with with the crew. No, please. <laughs> We're begging you. We <laughs> can't see you. <laughs> I look at this camera. Yeah, I, know. This camera can't see I don't it. know if this guy's gotten any love. Yeah. <laughs> Together at the same time, we'll split screen. Coogee, come. Come to Canada. Please, Coogee. Our community we love you. you. I got these shoes because of you. <laughs> I can't lift my leg that high. No, I, I got the high tops. No. Yeah, shout out to. Anyway, the community is so amazing. Both the one wheel community and the EUC community. I know yeah. they kind of. But heads Dif quite a bit. Different video. Different We're gonna video. get into that in a different video. <laughs> different for video. Sure. We're also gonna get it into a, our store and our why we opened. Excited for that one. Excited a story behind one. it as well, and yeah. my my um, passion for one wheels and how it kind of brought me to this point, and my passion for EUCs. But my passion for one wheels has not gone away by any means. Okay. Um, but there's, oh man, we just. I still see that fire. Yeah, it's, oh, I, I still ride my one wheel every day. I absolutely yeah. love it. But the, I don't commute with it anymore, unfortunately, because <laughs> I like to get to work fast and I can get to work in like less than 10 minutes yep. on the EC. And the one wheel is like, it's fun or it's more fun. Like yep. I get a carve and it's like when I'm like not in a rush to get somewhere, then it's definitely my, my weapon. You go to. So. Yeah, well, we'll we'll cover that. But yeah, uh, yeah. So to me, it kind of sounds like the the Sherman is is your your first love and also your, your for especially for where we live in Vancouver in a rainy place a more weather kind of you know dependent kind of riding conditions that the Sherman's still your go to it's reliable the range the comfort you feel best in it yeah. in kind of all different situations a lot of that might be down to the tire time yeah. will tell we'll find in further videos as we put them on the other I'm wheels i'll be testing these other gonna tires be, on the other be wheels testing these. however the rs and the exn especially on sunny days when you feel comfortable riding them might take the cake in fact it does irrefutably yeah. take the cake in your mind in a couple other ways that are perhaps more important for some people especially for my short distance commutes i think the winner yeah. would go to the rs okay um when it's a sunny day yeah and just the i love the way it accelerates Best sunny day rider sunny day rider yeah. gets the check for sure okay um and then the exn it would be a close like if i wanted to ride to whistler again yeah i think i would take the exn next time Ooh. Um, higher top speed and okay um yeah, just it's sad because I know I'm not going to be able to do that because I'm stuck at the store every day now. <laughs> but yeah, sorry. Anyways, um, so EXN, you'd, you'd you'd take it on your next trip to Whistler. Yeah, EXN for a long distance commuter, absolutely. If it's a nice okay. hot sunny day. Yeah. Um, but there's always a little bit of me that's has, like I don't feel safe on the Gotway wheels because of their lack of quality control. Yeah. I'm sorry, Gotway, to say this, but. I just saw another post of a 14 year old kid that cut out on his new RS and yeah. it makes me nervous. So yeah, one yeah. thing that we do at the store is we open up all our wheels though, and we check all the connections for all our, especially all our Gotway wheels mm -hmm. and make sure everything looks good before we send it out to a customer. Yeah. Um, and I think most uh, companies should do this. And I think yeah. most do, I, I know the quality control around quality control, the quality control, yeah. but yeah. there's only so much you can just look at and say, okay, yes, this looks so good. Everything checks out. Yeah. Um, so yeah. I do have this like, not this like full, when I ride the Sherwin, it feels safe all the time. Yeah. I don't worry about it cutting out and I just, I feel comfortable. I don't worry about electronic failure. Yeah. But with the Gotway wheels, always in the back of my mind, I'm like, I don't want to go too fast just in case. Yeah, and let's not talk and, about the Voldemort scenario too with the you know, <laughs> Gotways, but whatever. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, man, I think that's like, so that's about it. it. So 
Sherman, still your go-to. Still my number one go-to so for all-arounder. It's not going to, if I crash it, it's not going to yeah, break. You're never unpleased riding it. RS, sunny day, shorter commute. Just rocket ship. Just fun, smile Fucking on your machine. face. Yeah. yeah and absolutely. then EXN, maybe your new Grand Tourer. Your yeah, new, your I new, like uh, it. And I think, I don't have power pads on it yet, so I need to like do another update once I put power pads on yeah. it. Because I think I'll really unlock the full potential because of the weight. You need power pads, but with the RS, I almost feel like you don't need power pads. It's just, I get to full speed so quickly, I brake, no problem. Power pads are gonna make it a little bit more enjoyable. Yeah. But it's the only wheel that it's like tuned enough to like really not need them, which is kind of kind of cool. Um, One other uh, hot take I have. One mm -hmm. little thing I wanted to throw in is, we were talking yesterday. You were saying that uh, you were speaking to our Sherman rep ooh, ooh. and perhaps another rep. I don't think we should talk about this yet. Uh, no. <laughs> and it sounds like you might have a little uh, inside intel on uh, some new wheels coming out. Uh, yeah. New wheel in particular that might be coming out second half of the year. Maybe a, yeah. maybe a little teaser on that. I think that's all I can say is that veteran Sherman is coming out with a wheel second half of 2021. So that's all I can say right now. Okay, we can't talk about any details. We'll talk about it in the next in a future video. Okay. One or two videos from okay. now. So okay. subscribe. Like this video, yeah. see more. Yeah. And I can't wait to talk about the V12 as well oh. from In Motion. And oh. I know we're getting a couple samples in. Ooh, quite soon. Next month, a couple, oh, couple weeks. Next month, that's uh, 20 yeah, days. Okay, three, four, or five weeks okay. from now. Um, okay. We're going to airship them out here too. So I'm they excited to do a proper Kuji style review video. Yeah. Maybe we'll give Kuji a little run for his money, but yeah. also come here, Kuji. We, we need, you. Kuji, we need you here. We need you in Vancouver. Kuji, we love you. Please come to Vancouver. Kuji. <laughs> I can't even do the series. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what, what was the last thing I wanted to say? Right. So, guys, what do you think? Um, we went through everything. Have you rode those wheels? Tell us what your thoughts. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? Comments below. Maybe high speed over high torque for the RS. I haven't given that one a go yet. We only have the high torque on demo here. So. Yeah. Are you impartial to it? What do you think? We want to hear your hot takes in the comments. Let us know. Like Bradley said, like and subscribe. I'm Lucas. I'm Bradley. And we're missing Caitlin. And we're missing Caitlin. She'll be here in some She'll videos. She'll be in future videos. You'll see the third partner. She's, she'll be around. She's the master behind, mind behind the design yeah. of the store. And we're going to do a future video on the design of the store with yeah, her yeah. talking about it. And yeah, we're excited. We're excited for this. This is the beginning of our journey. So thank you for joining us today. Yes. We love you. Peace. Could you come to Vancouver? Could you come to Vancouver? Please come to Vancouver. Could you? We love you. <laughs> <laughs> I love the the excessive. We're just gonna keep shouting out Kuji over and over, almost in every video. Kuji, Kuji, we love you, Kuji. <laughs>